All right, one of the best things you can do to help animals, to help yourself by not getting so stressed when you talk about animals, when you talk about veganism, and the best thing you can do to be effective in your communicating with other people is to learn the answers to everyone's objections. So there's like a stock list of things that people are gonna ask, object, excuses, myths and lies they believe, and it's always the same. What about plants? What about protein? What about iron? What about my muscles? What about humanely slaughtered animals? What about free range? What about backyard eggs? What about uh, plants? It, like plants have feelings and there's so many, right? There's about a hundred. And it's just sales, it's just basic sales. So if you know the answers to everyone's objections, you are gonna be far more likely to be able to sell this to them. Because you want them to buy it, you want them to be like, yeah, I want that, I need that in my life. I need veganism in my life. It makes sense, it's right, it's better for this, that, 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 that. Uh, this is something I learned, I was working on cruise ships and I was doing speeches on health. And then after the, lec uh, after the lecture, I had to sell them a whole bunch of supplements and this and that. That was how I made my money on the cruise ships. And I soon realized that people wouldn't sell, they wouldn't buy it if I didn't know all their answers. So they'd say, well, what about this? What about that? And I answer and answer. And then if I got to a point where I was like, oh, I don't really know, boom, credibility is gone and they can walk away going, yeah, see, nah, it wasn't for me. But if you can answer them all to the point where they got nothing left and they're like, oh, well, okay, we've well, answered all of my questions. This actually makes a lot of sense. And at the very least, I'm gonna have some thinking to do. You can get to that point easily, you know, like, I remember watching other activists when I was just starting to learn about this, just starting to get into it, and just thinking, wow, I wish I had this person's words. I wish I could articulate it so well. They're so incredible. No wonder they help so many people go vegan. You know, I had none of the answers before, none of them. And it's just, it's just practice and study. You know, if you type animal rights FAQ into Google, the first thing that comes up, there's a list of 100 questions, very well answered uh, with quotes. And, you know, it's just a brilliant, brilliant page. But, you know, and there's Bite Size Vegan on YouTube. She's got an answer to just about every question that has ever been asked of a vegan. And they're very thorough answers. So... All you need to do is learn these, you know, read the groups on Facebook, read the conversations that happen in vegan groups. What about this? What about that? New vegans asking questions, vegan curious people asking questions and just learn the answers. And so that when you have this conversation, because if someone, if you start talking to someone and then they start, uh, you know, like asking questions, you don't know the answer. I know this feeling. You're going to feel like you're not doing the animals justice because you can't, you, sh you know you're right. You know that they're, what they're asking isn't, you know, like they might say, but we've been eating animals for forever, since the beginning of time. And you know that there's a reason why that's not a justification for what we do to animals today. But if you haven't practiced it, if you haven't read about it, if you haven't articulated that before, you're probably not gonna be able to, you know, maybe give a very strong argument in favor of veganism and you might lose them. And that was an opportunity where you could have planted a seed and who knows what would have happened with that. So these, and, the, and you get into these conversations all the time, every time you eat with someone, they're like, oh, what are you eating? Oh, why don't you eat meat? Blah, 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 I'm vegan. Oh, what's that? You know, well, what about this? What about that? It always is coming up. So be ready, be prepared. And then if you come into these situations, you're gonna be like, boom, I'm ready to go. You know, some people get really nervous about talking about veganism. I personally think you feel far more confident if you are well prepared and equipped with the right answers. Cause then you can just answer anything. You can kick back and enjoy the show. You're like, you sure you wanna ask? Cause we're gonna go down a rabbit hole right now and you're gonna come out of here leaving thinking, shit, I need to go vegan. So I love it. And, but before I, I was nervous. I wanted to be good at it, but I wasn't. Anyone can learn the answers to these questions. Just a little bit of study, you know, learn it, put a question, you know, a question somewhere, like you could put it in your bathroom when you brush your teeth and put the question and the answer there. Read it when you brush your teeth in the morning. When you brush it, read it when you brush your teeth in the evening. You know, do that for as many days until you feel like you've got it. Boom, question two, question three. Do whatever works for you. 
But this is one of the best things you can do to help animals. You will also feel so much more confident in yourself and your own decision to be vegan, and you'll be helping a lot more people go vegan too. So you'll be really doing justice for the animals there. And you feel less stress, you know. I remember when I started getting into conflict with people, I'm like, I know, I, I know I'm right. I've read it before, it makes so much sense. I just can't tell you. You know, that stresses you out and you feel bad about it. You can avoid all that. So what I want to do is I'm going to make a whole bunch of videos um, just answering all the questions the way that I answer them. Because as well, it's not just having the answer. I think it's really important, almost equally important, how you answer it. As in, what kind of emotion is there? And, you know, just, yeah, just the way. Just the way that you... Uh, express yourself when you're talking about these things there's a there's a way that's effective and there's a way that's not so effective in my opinion in my experience so if you have any questions that you'd like answered that have been troubling you leave them in the comments below i'll answer as many of them as i can i'll do a whole bunch of ones that i think are important as well and you know we can help each other learn more get more educated so we can better help the animals